rolling like shit at like 400 RPMs, but uh, yeah, look at that. Holy shit. All right, so anyhow, what uh, what I kind of think I'm going to do, uh, well, actually what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do a compression test on this, see what, uh, I already got all the spark plugs and all that crap out. But do a compression test on it, see exactly what cylinder has dicked or whatever, so I could figure that out for when I pull it out. But uh, I was going to go ahead and probably yank this 1J um, and put the clutch in it, you know, so pull the motor out, pull this motor out, Pull this motor out, set it aside, pull that motor out, set it in here after I put the clutch in it. Um, this is a uh, ACT clutch. Uh, it's got a new disc and a, a used pressure plate that I picked up from a buddy. Um, but I guess the full face disc will kind of help help not kill the tranny so much so that it'll slip a little bit before the tranny will break because it's W58. So hopefully. That'll work out, so I'll probably just put that in here, turn up the boost, um, and then finish out the rest of the season, which is, you know, Drift Overfest, and then like Lone Star Bash, and a few practice events and stuff like that, but, and then I'll still be able to drive the car around and test suspension setups and blah, 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 and all that crap, like this, or like with that in there. Um, and then I'll basically be able to take my time with the LS1 setup, you know, send it out to the machine shop, do, you know, rod bolts, probably new pistons, maybe some forge pistons and rods and stuff um, basically just you know raise the compression have the heads flowed see what they flow uh, match actually do a calculation and get a cam that's appropriate for it and then maybe leave off the nitrous you know and then but have the motor like gapped for it just in case I decide to you know want it um, but you know then I could really take my time you know do the harness and everything how I want to do, clean up the wiring, clean up everything, kind of tube front it and do something maybe different with the radiator and stuff. Um, you know, but basically with the 1JZ I'll be able to drive it around and cruise it around, cruise it around on the street and, um, you know, won't have to spend the extra money for insurance or any of that crap on that and just throw a KA in it and sell it. Um, that KA right there. But uh, anyhow, so I think that's kind of kind of what I'm going to do, so unless my mind changes, but... Alright, so I found uh, kind of the culprits so far. Uh, these two front right here have 185 cold. Um, this very last one has right about 60 in it. And then the, you know, the third one back, it has like 130, 135, somewhere in there. So both the back ones are low compression on this side so I guess we'll see what the other side is. Alright so I got uh, this guy almost almost out. Pretty much just need to jack it up and I forgot to disconnect the clutch line so I need to take that off real quick and then it's pretty much going to come out. It's taking me about maybe like an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes to get it to about right here. So not too bad. Alright so I got the engine and everything out of this one. Um, got the harness and everything pulled out. And, you know, power steering pump's just hanging there, but, you know, the harness was all dicked because of the, what well, looked pretty dicked because of this stupid fire or whatever. So it kind of melted some of the stuff. It didn't look like it really harmed the wires, but uh, I kind of want to clean it up anyhow. Got that all out and ready to go, whatever I'm doing with that. Um, so over here looking at the, the cylinders, and in this one there's there's a little bit of, you know, uh, like scratches right there, but other than that, the piston looks fine. Doesn't look like there's really any detonation or anything like that. Um, looking around it, the ring is all complete. Um, I was looking at this head right here. These are those Patriot Performance ones that everybody says kind of suck ass. And uh, anyhow, I don't know if that's a crack or if that's just from sliding it. I'm talking about that. Um, you can see right here, it's like all this porous shit. Um, and you can see pretty much the whole, everywhere in the head, there's all these like little, little chips and shit. So, I think that was actually my issue. So you can see right here, right there where the head gasket seals, there's like this porous bullshit. And it was getting hot. I mean, it was getting real hot. Like quick too, so I don't. I'm kind of thinking that the damn uh, 
head is cracked like right there I mean that's pretty much the only thing that I could you know gather out of those little things right there being dicked I mean the motor is actually fine I checked the valve and everything it it's seating just fine um, you know all this other crap is just kind of you know you could see even on these ones it was starting to to dick itself so yeah I think that's that's exactly what it was the stupid head cracked or pretty much came apart right there um, so I was actually probably gonna throw it back on there real quick and do like a, something with it see if I could get it to turn over or crank it over by hand see what kind of compression I get with like a different head on it um, shit I don't know if that's the case I might just throw this bastard back in there um, but we'll see all right, so anyhow, I got the uh, motor and everything in, drive shafts in, it was way too damn short. So anyhow, I'm gonna have it extended. So I gotta rush into town and hopefully they get that that done today. But uh, yeah, here's uh, here's the motor in there, but I'll get to that later. All right, so anyhow, now I got, uh, I got the power steering lines hooked up. Ouch. Um, I'll go back here and then I have it run into the little chase based power steering thing up there with a hose clamp on the end thing so that I could run the power steering cooler. Um, over here I made this ghetto little like heat shield to kind of I guess keep the heat away from the fuel lines and stuff and I kind of degreased all this crap where you know I was pushing oil and caught on fire previously so I did that. Um, got the drive shaft done. Um, it was like 120 bucks to have it extended two and a quarter inches, but at least I at least I got it done. And then I had to bribe the sons of bitches down there at the drive shaft place to end up getting it done today. Cause I went down there at like 3:20 and I was like, "Son of a bitch, can you guys get this done?" And he's like, "Oh, but I don't know if I can do that." And then I was like, "Oh, what if I like tipped you 20 bucks?" And he's like, "Oh, all right, yeah, we can probably do that." So, money is the answer. Um, but anyhow, so $140 drive shaft is in. The exhaust, you know, the mounts and all that bullshit's hooked up. Um, and uh, that's about it. I don't know what I'm going to have to do because I don't think my bash bar and intercooler is going to like like each other. So, shit. But, uh, so yeah, so I got to do with that too. And then hook up all this other bullshit. I feel like it almost have been easier to just put it down another V8 or rebuild another V8 and put it in here because all the shit but it's coming along I guess all right so right now I'm uh, kind of mocking up intercooler I went and grabbed my well Derek I grabbed his uh, uh, PBM high mount or mid mount or whatever the hell it's versus that thing because this thing right here the pipes would have had to go like right under there and it had been kind of low which on monster trucks it wouldn't have really mattered but I don't really like that intercooler anyhow and the pipes are all long and shit so this uh, you know since I'm not really planning on being Jay-Z that long I'm planning on hopefully going back to the LS unless I just absolutely love this but so I'm kind of mocking up the where I gotta cut it um, but uh, so yeah I'm gonna kind of cut it right there and then go down and then basically the pipe should just be pretty much like this. This is the pipes from him. Um, pretty much just like that. So that'll go, you know, right there. And then this, you know, kind of have to do something kind of on a, a hangle or something like that. Or probably this, this over here. So that'll go, that'll go like that. That's probably better right there. And then this, since it's smaller, will go from much there to there but you know more of a angle price something like that you know so it'll go down a little bit lower but uh but yeah so that's what i'm doing and then i'm cutting cut a hole and i'm gonna weld the wide band of bung in there and then welding the diff for my buddy jesse that other son of a bitch with the 1js 13 so three uh three 1j things being done at at once so well, I guess I robbed Derek's 1J thing, but, but yeah, that's about it uh, for now. So I'm gonna weld that shit. All right, so this is uh, got the intercooler kind of mounted and bolted. Um, you know, had the radiator sitting in there and stuff. But 
I'm not sure if I'm going to use the KA one or if I'm just going to use that other SR one with the, you know, kind of Jay-Z water neck on it. Um, but figured out what pipes I need and all that stuff. It's kind of weird seeing my car like this. I haven't seen it actually. The headlights haven't been out of it in like two years. Um, which is kind of funny, but uh, pretty much ever since I painted it, I put them in and that's, that's been it. Um, but yeah, that's it for tonight. Alright, so anyhow, it was a couple of days after the original consultation, I guess. Um, this is, uh, got it all in there. I uh, got intercooler piping pretty much mocked up. Everything I need for that. Um, this right here, it's not going super deep down there on the actual flange that, so I'm going to lean the radiator forward a little bit. That'll give me a little bit more space right here for the, for the radiator neck. Um, anyhow, I'm having an issue right now with my headlights. Uh, headlights want to go about back to right there and you know I can't so I don't know there's not enough space so I don't know what I'm going to do about that um, so I really want to run this uh, intercooler that I borrowed from Derek you know because I really don't want that other one hanging down here and I don't know how it would work with the with the whole bash bar situation I mean I'm sure I could get it to work but I just like this better um, anyhow Here's the wiring piece that was in the other car, so pretty much I just need to plug this in and wire the shit to it, give it some power and some ground, and then I need to relocate the uh, battery. You know, cable's going right there. It won't reach all the way back here. I'd rather put the battery right behind the passenger seat than I would in the in the trunk, you know, for weight distribution purposes. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, that's... Uh, that's about it for now. I turning how I got uh, got it running. Um put the intercooler pipe off right now just so I could blow out the you know the dust and the bullshit, but uh don't have the radiator in right now, but you know basically same way as the LS. Um, I, uh, wiring was pretty simple. There was already that plug that was like half wired and everything pretty much went to, went to, uh, power except for one. Let's see. Yeah, that little, that plug right there. And then kind of taped it up and then just basically ran it over here to, you know, my mess of other wires and shit. But, um, then this just went to ground and then. Nick, what are you doing over there, bud? Let me see. What'd you do? No, I, I'm zoomed in, bud. Let me see it. Let me see it. Show it, dude. Show me your wood. Show me your wood piece. Show me your wood thing, dude. So anyhow, I, uh, it's running now, exhaust is on, I uh, had to cut and weld exhaust, intercooler piping's in, radiators, you know, in and hooked up, headlights are in, they work, um, power steering's bled, I just hooked up the throttle cable, um, there's my exhaust, kind of kind of poop the exhaust, but, uh, but yeah, it uh, runs. We got an exhaust leak, and it does this for like a second.
bad for a stock little motor. It's funny how I uh, hooked up the temp gauge. A little O'Reilly special and it actually works, that's cool. Um, and I uh, need to mount the battery and put it in that box and all that other crap, change the transmission fluid. And, um, I got some red line tranny fluid on the way. That should be here Monday. Um, you know, but put the box in there and clean up all my nuts and bolts that I spilled. Coming out and I drifted and did a donut and all that shit before I, you know, cleaned out, cleaned it out and got it prepared. So now it just has shit all over the interior. But yeah, it runs good. Need to change oil. Um, you know, finish button up all the little loose ends here and there. But so far, it seems like it runs and drives good. So. Oh, bud, you missed it. You missed it. Look at all the extra that's in there, bud. Extra. How much did you put in there? Let me tell it started running out. You're ready. No, I've run everything else, dude. Oh no! The secret! No! No, what's that doing in there? That can't be in there. What is that? Not love? Is that breaking in? <laughs> 